We're just looking for the cave now where we're going to go and do a meditation. We've gone to an island, it's taken about an hour with the boat, and now we've come to this sort of abandoned monastery or not. There's one resident monk here, and now one of the locals is taking us to find this cave. We've just done a one hour, no, 30 minute meditation in the monastery just now behind us. I'm on the steps of the monastery now. It seems like a little bit abandoned here. Um, so we came to find the cave that people said we should meditate at. And uh, the caretaker told us that it was it's an 11th century cave. So the monastery is built directly in front of it. And you can see from the pictures, you basically walk in, there's a massive Buddha and then you can walk to the right or the left. And we walked to the right and then we went sort of through a small tunnel and inside the tunnel were a couple of like kind of caverns that you can sit in and meditate. Um, and then there was an area at the very end of the cavern um, where there were two small holes, which you can see from the pictures. Um, and those holes were tunnels that were or passageways that lead to other towns, other areas like Shan, Shan area, um, Shan state, and um, uh, different cities in Burma. So one of the tunnels the guy said was seven days to get through. Um, you can see they're really small, they're really tight, so you'd have to be quite small to get in them. It's pitch black in there. Um, so our meditation was about 30 minutes and it went really quickly and um, it's fascinating how quick things are when you're not distracted. Um, I don't know what's happening over there, there's like monkeys. But yeah, the um, monastery was, it was funny because the caretaker said, uh, he'd just woken up, this is a bell at the bottom of the monastery that you pull and it kind of alerts alerts him but it's all the way behind the monastery so he said um, just finish, you can stay as long as you like and just drop us the key, drop me the key so we've been like locking up the monastery thing. Now we're just walking down and out of this very quiet place back to our boat